just might be on the right track because I just weighed myself and I did gain, it says I gained a pound, I'll be showing you guys the weighing just now, but again, I, I never care about gaining a pound or so, I, I like to, I like to travel in ranges of weights if, if that makes sense, I, I like to, I like to count the weight range I'm in, so right now, I just say I'm in the, I'm in the 148 to 150 weight range, right? So it could fluctuate anywhere between there. Once I hit a weight like 153, 154, then there's no way I'm like 149. You get my point? So that's why I don't really care about the specifics of my weight. As long as I'm getting size and it's apparent and the numbers are showing, I'm cool. Uh, yesterday, I was editing. I have a lot more editing to do today. Like after I record this video, the like record this workout and this powerlifting episode, bodybuilding episode, I have a lot of freaking editing to do. So basically, you know, I was editing my video yesterday, and one thing about me is that when I'm editing or I'm, or I'm doing a lot of work, I forget to eat, like, or I get hungry, but my mind doesn't tell myself to, to go to the kitchen and make something. I, I'm always trying to get the editing done. And I can't lie, I wasted some time yesterday playing Call of Duty, which I regret. I wish I did not do that. So basically, I was editing uh, Monday's episode of Powerlift, Bodybuilding with Calisthenics, and it took me about like five hours or four hours because I was trying new things. The video was long. It took so long to save, blah, blah, blah. And I basically wasn't eating for like that entire time, right? So I went to bed late, like three o'clock and then woke up tired now. And I got screwed up. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll, pick up, I'll pick up my game just now. So it actually said I weighed 149, but let's see what it says right now. Focus is off. <laughs> but it says I weigh 149.8. That's really 149. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna eat today. I probably just have nuggets because I don't got any eggs. I don't have nothing. I still have to go over to the mall and get some get some almond milk since it's almost finished. And after that I'll get my workout in. No, I'll get my workout in and then go to the mall and get the peanut butter and the almond milk. Okay guys, I know the posing was terrible, but who cares? It's strength over size, bruh. I don't really pose. I only did that because I want to try to have some video documentation of how my body looks now. Okay, so I just want to see how it looks. I ain't trying to do some Christian Guzman posing, right? I'm, trying, I'm not trying to get on that high level, even though I know I'll win all them NPC competitions because I'm such a beast. So I'm going to eat this as my pre-workout, even though this is a pretty crappy pre-workout. I still need to eat some food, man, because I'm not trying to have all these bananas. I already had one, and I don't like how it looks, or I don't like how it tastes when it's so ripe. It's all soft and, like, makes your breath stink. So I'm just eat these nuggets and get the workout in. Hey! Yo, I, w Yo, I wish that was my YouTube views. One million! One million Google Plus views. So it looks like a lot of people be checking out what my comments are. That just looks sick. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait until it says one million subscribers. I'm joking. Or one million views at least. Because one million, one million views should be approaching. I, I'm really expecting it to come this year. I'm really expecting to come this year. By the way, my face is looking pretty smooth right now because I did my my oil treatment. Uh, I'll be sure to post that on my second channel when I start uploading to that second channel because you know I've been too busy. I'm trying to I'm trying to revive strength over size and keep it on track. And once that's on track, then I'll start uploading to Styling with Simon. So yeah, one million views, bruh, bruh, bruh. Okay, you know what? Here's a new goal. I get famous on YouTube. 
I make a living off YouTube so I don't have to work a 9 to 5. I try to live a, a lavish life. And I get myself whole ready. Even more whole ready than I am now. And then, and only then, I go out on the hunt for these MILFs such as her. Yes, she's a MILF. She has a kid. And I will find one. And I will have her. And then she will be a part of the SOS vlogs. You feel me on this one? You feel me on this one, SOS family? Do you guys think it's possible for me to nail one of these? Comment that down below. By the way, guys, we passed 7,400 subscribers, man. And I have a video coming up. It's also going to be a part of my How to Grow a Channel series. Even though I didn't name it that, it's going to be a part of those videos. Because I want to break down this graph for you guys. Because a lot of you guys who are starting channels do not use these graphs to your advantage, right? Why my channel was declining. Like, why is the view just going down and down and down? And then it went up a little bit. Then it went down and down. And then why did it spike up like that? And then why did it spike up like that over there? You know, like, I'm trying to break down to you guys how to use these stats so you can help keep track of the growth of your channel. So stay tuned for that, my ninjas. Jeez. I really got to start going to bed a lot earlier so I can wake up earlier to get my workouts in earlier because I'm always worried about kids being outside at this time. And I'm pretty lucky for it to be a weekend and no kids outside at 1, one o'clock right now. Jeez. So you know what? No excuses. I wasted my time yesterday playing that trash Call of Duty. You know, I used to play Call of Duty a lot. I used to be a beast. I used to be a fan, but then now it's just shit. But I'm still going to do the giveaway for you guys, so you guys may want to play. I don't know. But yeah, let's get the workout in. Don't you guys just wish the vascularity and the pump just always remained with you forever? Like, after you get a workout in, you see the veins. You flex, and look at them veins, bro. I got them CT Fletcher veins, bro. It's your motherfucking set. I'm going to go get me some almond milk and some peanut butter. Jeez, today is beautiful, like damn. Anyway, let's break down the workout that I did because I basically followed a the similar plan I did yesterday. I followed a similar workout yesterday, except I did pull day. So now basically, I started off with no weights. In fact, when it comes to pulling exercises, those exercises are already so hard by itself. Like doing pull-ups are a lot harder than doing push-ups, right? Or dips. Doing in, doing the, the rows that you're gonna see, those are a lot harder than doing dips and blah, blah, blah. So with that, even when I go into next week, I'm gonna be doing body weight pulling exercises because the intensity is already high enough for me to a point where I'm going to be failing between five to 12 reps, okay? So basically, I did three exercises and I did five sets, five sets to failure, right? And basically I took a short break in between each set because I, of course I want to make sure I stimulate or facilitate that hypertrophy response. And basically with those three exercises, I know I'm going to be sore tomorrow. And then when I start back on Monday, which is my upper body day, I'm going to do body weight again because I'm going to be doing push and pull at the same time. So pretty much that would be a good way for those of you guys who want to start doing calisthenics and gym workouts together. I'm actually going to make a video on how to actually incorporate the two because some of you guys be asking me how do you incorporate calisthenics if you want to body build. And I'm like, yo, you don't have to go to the freaking gym if you want to body build. Like you could do calisthenics. I'm choosing to do calisthenics alone to build the muscle. But again, I always recommend or encourage you guys to do both. If you, if you like going to the gym, why not do calisthenics at the gym, right? So I'll make that video soon enough. So I started off with doing, with doing the hanging rows, right? Because that is actually harder to do than doing the chin-ups, right? Because I used to do chin-ups first and then try to do inverted rows, but then it wouldn't really work out for me. So I did, I did the hanging rows, then I did the chin-ups, and then I went to the inverted rows after. Right? And I started to bend at the knees a bit more so my, when I do the inverted rows, I try to bend at the knees a bit more so that my body is totally horizontal to the ground or parallel to the ground instead of it being at an incline, 
right? Just to target my latch differently. I'm gonna see how it turns out. You see, the thing that sucks about this hat though, even though I love it so much, for those of you guys who don't know where I, where I got this hat from, I got it from Lean Squad uh, on Twitter. I didn't get it from them, but that's where I got the idea from. Cause they inspired me, man. Like I love the hat. It was something different and some people don't like it. No, honestly, more of you guys like it than those who don't like it. But anyway, yeah, the only thing that sucks about this hat is when it's windy and this hat catches wind, it starts like flying off your head sometimes. So I recommend you guys who are like living in cold freaking we uh, con weather conditions right now or windy conditions. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that you get this hat still. I really only came here to get my almond milk and my peanut butter, but since I'm here, I'm gonna get my, my tin of, my tin can of macro. I actually wanna teach you guys how to make the rice, how to make the rice and macro meal, because trust me, yo, look at the, look at the freaking macros on this, hold on. Is it upside down? You guys see that? Look at the macros. You guys could pause the video if you want. Those macros are freaking amazing. And I eat that entire tin can in like one day, so that's basically why I'm here right now. See, like, this is the easiest part to go vegan. When, you're, when it's coming down to milk, going vegan is the easiest part to come down to when it comes like, when it comes down to milk, drinking almond milk is like an easy substitute for, for cow milk because at least for me, at least for me, cow milk like makes me want to shit my pants and stuff. It's just like, nah, I don't like that. Let me get my, let me get my, uh, what is it? My alphabet spaghetti soup. I'm gonna get me a couple of those. Dang, where the hell is the freaking peanut butter? Where's the peanut butter? You know what's funny? I still have yet to make, I have yet to make that Chris Jones meal that he made with the rice and the salsa and the tuna. I don't know why, for some reason I feel a little bit, I feel a little bit, you know, skeptical about that. I think this is, I think this is the right aisle. This is the cookie aisle. I might pick up a, a, a bag of cookies, no lie. No lie. Or should I, no, the thing is too, like I want to get fruits, but fruits are just freaking expensive. Like you buy fruits and they spoil in like three days or you eat them in like three days. Like it's no point for me in buying fruits right now, except for bananas. I might buy bananas because it's a good pre-workout. Y'all think I should buy some Pop-Tarts? They're on sale. The s'more one, the, you know what? Okay, you know what? Let me buy, uh, let me buy this one. Let, let me buy this one. I'll buy one pack of Pop-Tarts. Hopefully it does well for me. Shit, I didn't even realize the Nutri-Grain's on sale. Uh, let's go, mixed berry. No, uh, yo, Apple, let's get it, yo, Apple. And I'll do mixed berry. These are like easy calories for me, so I like these. Jeez, like I don't know why it's taking me so long to find this damn peanut butter, like. I always buy the cheap ones because peanut butter is peanut butter. I don't really care to buy the expensive one, especially since it's just gonna be going inside of my protein shake anyway. And right here. Uh, I think I'm gonna get, yeah, getting these ones still. One pack. I think I actually get like two more, two more cans of these. Cause I'm gonna be eating these a lot anyway, so. It's only like 139 too. Uh, should I? You know what? Nah, nah. Let me save, let me save every dollar I got. Funny how I said I'm only gonna be coming for peanut butter and what is it? Milk? Yep, that never happens. Okay, got all these bananas right here. I'm not really liking how they look. They already look pretty ripe. Uh, probably, I'll take this batch right here still. This one is nice. You see these nuggets were on sale the other day and I bought like, a, like that's why you saw me eat nuggets this morning. I had like a bunch of nuggets and honestly, it started making me feel sick. It's making me really want to go vegan. See, so I'm trying to get a lot more used to, you know, speaking in public, speaking loud, not caring what people have to say about me. You know, I'm, I'm still getting used to it. Come on, guys, cut me some slack. Ain't I getting, ain't I getting a little bit better? Anyway, uh, don't you guys realize that, oh, no, before I get into that, uh, my diet, because I forgot to explain my diet in the previous video, right? So basically with my diet, 
uh, so, like, I'm not saying, I wasn't snacking on my diet necessarily. This is what was happening. When I would eat, like, I would get full really fast with a, a meal that I would normally be eating like nothing. Like, for example, I was eating nuggets. And eight nuggets is usually what I would always eat, like, since I was, like, freaking 12 or something, right? And basically, when I, when I would eat recently, like, last week or so, I feel like throwing up after eating every time. So, when I was hungry, I wouldn't eat anything still. Like, it's like I would be afraid to eat because I feel like I'm about to throw up. So then I was, like, basically starving, and I was so focused on editing and uploading the video that I would just forget to eat. So basically, when it came down to my diet, it wasn't because I was slacking or was lazy about it or anything. It's just that it was hard to, to, to get in the calories because the more I ate, the more sick I started to feel. But then I started realizing, hey, it's probably because I've been eating them nuggets because when I eat uh, other food like rice and chicken and stuff or the rice and mackerel, I enjoy it, right? I enjoy it. So... I don't know if I have to start cutting out meat, meat and just become vegan. <laughs> it's probably a sign, eh? Yo. Someone called me, like, yo, someone called me. I don't know if he, I don't know if they uh, watch my videos, but, yeah, basically, that was my issue. That was pretty much my issue with the diet. So that's why I dropped so much weight. I was like at 153, you remember guys? I was like 153, you guys were like, yo Simon, you're getting bigger. Damn, vlogging is actually a freaking workout for your shoulders. But anyways, a lot of you guys were like, yo Simon, you're getting bigger. And I wasn't noticing as much until I started noticing that I had to flex harder to see, see my abs the way I used to. Then I started getting smaller, so then some of you guys are still saying I'm getting bigger, but in reality, I was just getting leaner. Therefore, I appeared to be bigger. And I noticed I was getting leaner because when I look in the mirror, I could see my, I could see my, uh, my veins in my chest and my veins in my abs and stuff, right? So that's basically what's been happening. By the way, now I'm gonna go into what I was gonna say earlier. You guys realize that when you know you could be muggly at first, you know, you could be muggly when you're younger, and you grow up and. I don't know, some of you guys get braces or some of you guys finally get a freaking haircut or some of you guys get some nice clothes and you, you know, you start looking nice, right? Start looking nice, your confidence goes up and you're like, oh my gosh, like, I just want one girl. I just want one girl. And then after you, after you reach that status where like girls actually like you, you're like, F one girl. You want to, you want to, you want to taste the rainbow. I noticed that with myself. Like for me, sometimes I have that, that urge where I'm like, yo, I'll be, I'll be successful, probably famous on YouTube and whatnot. Damn, my arm is killing me. And then I'll probably, you know, want to settle down or something. But I'm like, bruh, if I'm, if I'm successful, if I just become successful and start making good money, why the hell am I going to try to settle down? But then again, I'm the type of guy who likes to wife one chick if she's good. I prefer black chicks. Right, I prefer black chicks. I don't know what you guys prefer. You guys can comment that down below. I used to prefer, I used to like Asian chicks. I used to like brown chicks, like Indian, like you know the Indian type coolie chicks. And not like my black chicks again, but yeah. So I struggle with that sometimes because I see the success in the future. I see I see myself sitting on the beach, you know, vlogging, sipping a pina colada or a margarita, and I have my son. He's probably like four years old, running on the beach, you know, trying to chop them little toddlerettes, them toddler things. And he's like, yo, baby, can I have your number, please? My dad's right there. He has a lot of money. And they're like, oh, he has a lot of money. Can he buy me candy? Do you have games on your phone? Right? I always picture stuff like that. But anyway, yeah, you guys comment down below and tell me what you think. I, I want to make different types of videos. By the way, I hope you guys are enjoying. Some of you guys actually are enjoying my new types of videos, like the reaction videos and stuff. Because, again, I don't want to just be a fitness channel. I want to be able to do as much as I want and entertain you guys and have fun. I don't want to stick to one thing because one thing just gets boring. If I get bored of my channel, I'm going to expect you guys to get bored of, bored of my channel. Anyway, I am done talking. Anyway, my ninjas, I hope you guys enjoyed this Bodybuilding with Calisthenics episode 8. It's time for me to get to editing. Well, I'm turning on the computer, but anyway, it's time for me to get to editing. I have a lot of videos to edit. Today is Saturday, by the way, for those of you guys who don't realize. So I have, I already have 
of Bodybuilding with Calisthenics episode 7 scheduled, which you guys probably already watched already as you watched this video. I'm going to edit this video and schedule it for Wednesday. I'm going to record Bodybuilding with Calisthenics episode 9 tomorrow, do legs for like the first real time, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are waiting for. I still have the giveaway to upload today. I know it's weird when you guys watch these videos because you're like, I'm speaking in the now and I'm speaking about the future, but then when you're in the future watching this video, the future is actually now. But anyway, I have the giveaway to do. I have the second part of my, I'm backed up guys. Like I'm backed up with videos, which I kind of like and hate at the same time because I'd rather be backed up than not have any videos to put out anyway. But anyway, I'm rambling on. Thank you guys, that's what's family. I am done. Can't clap my hands together and do the prayer hands, but hoy! No, sorry. Let me do it again. KSOS family, I am out. Done. Soon enough, but with the downward motion, the downward pushing, dips, it's gonna train your lower chest, right? And then when I moved on to the handstand pipe.